happy holidays. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything I eat in a day during a holiday. This is the time we're hanging out with family, we're eating good, we're drinking good. It's gonna be a blast. And a huge thank you to House for sponsoring today's video. All right, so I'm gonna get started with breakfast first. So for breakfast, I'm gonna have some fruit and some yogurt. Here I have a cantaloupe, and I'm just going to prepare it. I'm just gonna chop off this edge part here. And this is where I'm probably doing it wrong, but this is how I cut a cantaloupe. I use this edge as a base. It gives me a better grip getting the knife and taking that skin out. Now that the skin is roughly off, I'm just gonna cut it in half, and I'm just gonna run it through to get these seeds out. I'm just gonna just chop it into little cubes. All right, so I'm gonna put half of this cantaloupe in here. So now I'm just gonna plate this. I'm gonna just pile the cantaloupe here. This is almond milk yogurt, and it's actually really delicious. It's definitely more watery than Greek yogurt, but I actually like this runny texture. And then inside the yogurt, I'm just gonna put a little bit of goji berries, just for some flavor and texture. All right, and voila, we've got breakfast. So let's have a bite. I like to get the cantaloupe and then kind of dip it in the yogurt. Mmm, it's so perfectly tangy and sweet. It's great. All right, it is lunchtime. And for lunch, we are gonna be having shrimp cocktail. I don't know if this is just like an English thing, but every time Ben and I go and celebrate the holidays in England, we always have prawn cocktail. And I have made life a lot simpler. I just purchased some store-bought shrimp cocktail. It came with a pre-made cocktail sauce, but I think we should make our own. So making this sauce is super simple. We're just gonna get a little bit of ketchup some mayo. I'm gonna do like an equal part of that. A little bit of Tabasco, three squirts of that. Then we have some paprika. And then lastly, a dash of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just gonna mix this all up. You can really tell by the color. That looks good. Let's do a little taste test. Mmm, it's delicious. Let's plate this. So that is our homemade cocktail sauce. I just poured the store-bought cocktail sauce on the other. We'll see which one Ben likes more. And then I'm just gonna plate these little shrimpies. So I thought we would make a cheeky little drink to go along with lunch. I mean, it is the holidays. You wanna let your hair down a little bit. So I'll be making a spritz using house. First off, look at this stunning bottle. It is gorgeous to display on our bar cart. This is in the flavor Citrus Flower. It is my favorite. I first heard about House from our good friends, Weilin Wa. I saw them drinking it and then it got us a little curious and now we are obsessed. I have always loved citrusy things and this one tastes really fresh and bright because it's made with lemons and elderflower. Every ingredient is listed on their website and the pamphlets that you receive so you always know exactly what you're gonna be putting in your cup. So for today's drinky poo, we're gonna be making a house spritz. It's two parts of house. I always feel so technical when I've got specific measurements. And then it's gonna be one part soda water one part champagne. Ooh. Gorgeous. Gonna get a little spoon, mix it around, and plop a lemon in there. All right, let's have a sip. Oh, it's so good, so festive and Christmassy. I need to try the ginger yuzu flavor next. You guys have got to try House. They have a super simple ordering process and you can get it delivered straight to your door. You can also get 15% off your first order using my code GENIM. You can use that and also click the link in my description box. All right. Wow, what a treat, babe. Thank you. Of a little course. prawn cocktail. Mm -hmm. We've got some House. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried this, uh, cheers, babe, the this spritz. flavor yet, the spritz. Let's give it a go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 that's very drinkable. I know, it's oh. so delicious. Mm. Can you guess which one I made, the sauce? This one. Oh. 
Why give it away? Well, partly because we went to the shop together, and, <laughs> and, and also it helps uh, explain to you what you put in the Thousand Island dressing. This is Ben's recipe. Why do we always have mm. prawn cocktail? It's good, huh? Mm. Why do we have prawn cocktail? Mm -hmm. I don't know where it came from or why we do it, and whether it's just an English thing or what. I don't know. When I was younger, my job was always to do the, the Thousand Island sauce. You know, my family are doing the whole roast, the turkey, the trimmings. I like to just put some mayonnaise and ketchup together. I loved it. I was the mashed potato smasher. The smasher. The smasher. <laughs> but then over the years, your bros get bigger. And yeah. then we do everything. That's true. Well, he does everything. Ben's such a no. good cook. We're a it's, team. He's really going to be shining for the dinner portion. Oh, no pressure. We just had lunch and now we're immediately making dinner. Which is all right because it was a light lunch. We're still hungry enough to enjoy the cooking process. So we're gonna make a nice roast dinner. We're gonna start with some roast potatoes, make them perfect for you guys. A veggie turkey and some Brussels sprouts. Also a nice little drizzle of vegetarian gravy over the top. All homemade so you'll get to see the whole process and enjoy it with us. Well, you can't obviously taste it with us but you can watch us enjoy it. <laughs> so first we're gonna be making roasted potatoes. And we wanna give them a good peel. Now that they're peeled, we're gonna chop them in half, then we're gonna throw them in some boiling water for 10 minutes on a medium to high heat, just to get them a bit nice and succulent inside. So now that the potatoes are finished, this is the special part. We give them a good fluff, a good shake, just kind of roughers around the edges, and this will just help get them nice and fluffy in that oven. And then you set that aside, and then you get a nice baking tray, get some olive oil, get it nice and coated. And then I'm gonna throw the potatoes in. Again, give them a little shake, get the oil nicely mixed in. And then I'm gonna chuck a couple of bits of butter in there. This just helps get them nice and crispy. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Throw them in the oven around 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes, just so they get slightly brown underneath. So next up, we have the meatless roast by corn. This does such a good job. It's so easy to make and it tastes just as good. And you don't have to stick your hand up a turkey's butt to rip the heart out, so. Pierce the film, throw it in some foil, give it a little wrap, and chuck it in the oven with the potatoes. Easy, look at that. Phase one of the potatoes are done. Let's have a little look. And you can see they're getting a tiny bit of color to them at the bottom. So this is the special part of the potatoes. As you can see, they're getting a little bit brown underneath. Get a nice mashed potato masher. This is where you want to be delicate with it. Delicate but firm and you just want to give it a slight little push. This is how you get them nice and fluffy and extra crispy. Mm. We're going to throw some garlic. I did five cloves. We're going to keep the skin on as well. This just stops it from burning. And this is where the real flavor comes in, some fresh rosemary. Grab it off the sprig, whatever you would call it. Sprig it off. Cheeky bit more salt and pepper. And then we throw that back in the oven for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes until it's delicious, crispy, golden brown, fluffy to the touch. So the turkey has been in there for 40 minutes and now we're gonna pop it out. And by we, I mean Ben. So you're gonna get the wrapping off. So this is where we wanna cut up a couple of slices of orange. This just gives it, you know, a little zesty feel to it, a nice bit of flavor. You're gonna place them either side. We're gonna throw some olive oil on it and get some salt on there. And then we're gonna throw it back in the oven for about 20 minutes. So now we're gonna make the vegetarian gravy. It is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna need half an onion. We've just diced these and we're gonna plop them into our manual food processor. Five cloves of garlic. And then we're gonna pop the lid on and go to town. Look at that, nice and fine. So it just adds to the consistency of the gravy. Then we're gonna pop that into a pan. Put some vegetable oil or canola oil. You want a good amount of this. And then get a medium heat. And then we're gonna add our onion and garlic that we've already prepared. And you wanna fry this for like five to seven minutes until softened and slightly browned. Now we wanna add a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. This is gonna get a nice thickness to the dish. Then we want some nutritional yeast seasoning. We want about four teaspoons of this. We don't need much. And then we want four tablespoons of soy sauce. This just adds to the richness. Then we want to whisk it together into kind of an almost paste. We want two cups of vegetable stock. Get the nice liquid, get the gravy texture. Look at that. Basically you want to keep whisking this until it turns into, you know, a nice liquid. Add some salt. 
So you let this sit and simmer for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. And while that's cooking and smelling bloody lovely, I must say, we're gonna do some Brussels sprouts. We're gonna wash them, chop them in half. We're gonna throw them in some boiling water. Cook them for about 10 minutes until nicely softened. Get the salt in there, yes. All right, the potatoes are finished. Oh, 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 look at these. Wow. Golden brown, nice and fluffy. Oh, I'm so hungry. That looks so good. It smells great. And then to plate it, we're just gonna put a little bit yeah. of rosemary there. And there we go. All right, and the turkey is done. It, look, it doesn't look like much, guys, but it tastes lovely. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at that. Right, so the sprouts are done. Oh. oh. A bit of salt, pepper. Again, if you want to be naughty, throw some butter on there, but we don't need it. If you don't have a gravy pot, you can just use a simple teapot. That's what we do. Gorgeous. You ready to eat? I am so ready to we did eat. It. You can see the oh sweat. We've been drinking this like it's water. <laughs> Naughty water. Right, let's eat, babe. Let's plate this up. Let's do this. 